like honestly this is why my my face is breaking out because i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen <gasps> Okay, hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be going through my beauty products. Um, at least most of them, most of them. So I have them all here, that's what I keep looking down at. Um, so during this pandemic we've been home a lot more which means we're looking in the mirror a lot more, we're not wearing as much makeup. Um, you have all these Zoom meetings and Skype calls and you're looking at yourself more in the camera or you've started a YouTube channel and you're looking at yourself and you're kind of like, mm, just some stuff that needs fixing and I think that skincare has kind of taken over you know how makeup was like a big thing and I think makeup will always be trendy makeup will always be at the forefront of beauty but I think that skincare has really stepped up to be like hey you know we can make you look great without all the makeup which is true so I want to show you some of the products that I've started using um, and the products that I use that I don't like and I don't know why I'm still using them but anyway I'm gonna show you everything and you know drop a comment down below let me know what works for you let me know what I've shown you here that is like nonsense let me know all right so let me start with when I brush my when I wash my face okay so just last night my moisturizer finished so this is Vivant skincare and this one is their Mandelic 3-in-1 wash I love it it suds up nicely it lasted a really really long time and I was getting annoyed that it lasted so long because I wanted to try something else so let me just cuss three youtubers for a second James Welsh Hiram and Cassandra Blankston Blank Blank Cassandra they made me buy all of this stuff right and I think I'm mixing too many things because right now I'm having a hyperpigmentation problem on my face and I think it's caused by one of beauty youtubers favorites so yeah I'm kind of doing this bit Hiram if you're watching can you help me <laughs> alright so then um James Welsh he likes this brand this is called Holy Frog so I've been trying to finish my um, Mandelic wash by Vivant so I can try this out I just tried this this morning it's not as suddy as I would like. So I like a wash that suds up. Do you guys notice I have a new camera? Do you see how quickly that focused? Like, check that out. Like, and I'm not gonna say, um, is this recording? Because there's a little screen that flips out and I see Rick. Rick and a red light. Mm. Thanks, Sean. All right, yeah, so I just showed you that. Um, it was nice, it felt very creamy. Um, it was nice. I get to use it later tonight to see how it will remove my makeup. Um, I got this one before because the, okay, so this one was the um, Refining Acid Wash. Um, so that was the one I just started, but I got this before which is a little bit more milkier. I don't like milky washes just because I like things that sun. I really like things that sun. Wait, wait, I'm not done washing my face. So in the nights, I will go in with um, this Elemis Pro Collagen Beauty Balm. So um, you saw in a couple of videos ago my nightly routine, I was using a beauty balm. This one, I, I like the Elemis, but this one is a rose cleansing balm. It has fragrance in there um, and I don't like it. It kind of burns my eyes a little bit. So I'm waiting for this to finish and I'm going to try another balm that was recommended by James Welsh and Hiram. <sighs> I ditched my Clarisonic again. I, I switch it up, and I'm now using the Fur Furio for whatever the silicone brush. It's a little bit more gentle than the Clarisonic, and also Clarisonic is discontinued. So I'm there saying to myself, it's discontinued. I wonder why. But I really love it because it just suds up. Anyway, I figured out that if I wet this before and I use a nicely sudding wash like my Vivant, it will sud up. Do you see how I'm dressed up today? Today's the 40th episode of Tuesdays with Tricky, so I am dressed. So that is that all for washing? Is that all for washing my face? Yeah, okay. So my face is washed. What do you think of that? Are those good washes? I use a double cleanse method. So that means that I go in with my balm first and I just break down the makeup. Um, a great way to tell if your if beauty balm, not, not beauty balm, what's it called? 
cleansing balm is working is when you add water, it gets milky. That means it's breaking down all of the product. So that's my first cleanse, and then I'll go in with a second cleanse with my brush and my wash. It's the second part of the cleanse. When you've done that double cleanse, you are supposed to have no makeup on your face if you're doing your double cleanse properly. Um, okay, so now I go in with my tings. My tings, my tings, my tings. So, right after that, I will go in now with my, I just got this. This is by Good Manu, Man, Manipules. Molecules, mon molecules, molecules, good molecules, good molecules. This is the niacinamide brightening toner. I can't remember which one of my um, YouTubers recommend. This is formulated with niacinamide, vitamin C, ab arbutin, licorice root extract to brighten and improve the appearance of enlarged pores. So I keep hearing about this niacinamide and how great it is for minimizing pores and helping with oily skin and the production of sebum. Now, the more sebum that you have on your face is the more blackheads that you'll get. And across the board, throughout YouTube, across the board, all the beauty influencers that I've come across, there was also a Jamaican, um, a Jamaican YouTuber that I started watching. Oh, I can't remember her name. Okay. And everybody loves niacinamide. And so I said, okay, I'm going to get the good mole molecules, niacinamide toner. So I'll go in with my toner. Then, sometimes, okay, most times, I do this. Then I will splash my face with an essence. Oh, did I show this? Do I have to put the link to everything in the, in the, the, the description? Because some of these things I don't like. Okay, then I'll go in with my essence. This is the, you can't see that. That is, this is a time revolution, the first treatment essence prescription. And it's not pre prescription, this is um, Korean skincare. Now when you're using hydrolon, hydroclonic, I want to come to this video for, we can't see. Hyaluronic, hyaluronic, when you're using hyaluronic acid, um, what was it that they were saying? So to help it seal and lock in, you should really lock it in with something like an essence or a toner, like something when your face is really wetty wetty or your gels or whatever, like mix it in with something. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna mix in my hyaluronic, hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid with my essence. You know, when this finishes, when my essence finishes, I don't think I'm gonna buy another one just because I use a toner. And although I watched where they're not interchangeable, I'm really and truly, I'm just trying to finish a lot of this shit right here because honestly, I don't know what half of this is or what it's for. I think I have the steps correct. So you use your toner, then you use your essence. I'm putting in extra moisture with my hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. And then of late, I'm sorry, Niacinamide, so this is a good molecule, molecules, mole, molecules, molecules, good molecules, niacinamide serum. Everybody speaks so highly of niacinamide, so I was like, okay, I'm going to try it out. And I don't like it, and I think that this is what has caused, like, almost like a purge on my face, and I don't have six weeks to purge. Like, I don't, I don't need to put niacinamide in my um, skincare routine because I've already found serums that work for me. Um, my mandelic acid, I love a mandelic acid serum. Um, it finished, and so I was like, okay, let me try something else. And that's when I introduced the niacinamide serum. And even though I use a lot of different things, I noticed that... So I'll only introduce one new thing at a time. And it was when I introduced the niacinamide serum and the toner, because I introduced them at the same time, that my skin started to get like little pocky, pocky, pocky. And you, you know, I don't, let me tell you all something, right? You saw all these beauty YouTubers and all of these gorgeous girls on Instagram and on YouTube, like myself. This beauty light does a hell of wonders, okay? You cannot really see my... Oh, yes, you can. Big up the beauty ring. So yeah, I was having like some texture and some pockety pucks and stuff and I really think it's from the niacinamide. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stop using the niacinamide and I'm going to go back to my mandelic acid, um, my mandelic acid serum. It worked wonders for me. It did the same things that a vitamin C serum would do, um, but it wasn't as harsh. Cause I found like a vitamin C, I'd sometimes put it on my skin and it would sting a little bit. Um, and like excessive stripping. So I'm gonna go back to our mandelic acid. Is mandelic acid spelled? Yeah, mandelic acid serum, I'm gonna get it. All right, now sometimes, 
I will go in with this prescription here. This is called Rosex. So I had to diagnose myself because I've been to a couple of dermatologists and they kept giving me um, steroids. So I have perioral dermatitis. Perioral means around the mouth. Dermat no, eczema. Eczema is dermatitis. I have them bumpy or something around my mouth. And it looks like, it looks like I sucked on dirt. Okay, so I have like eczema around my mouth. And to me, when you're speaking, people are looking at your mouth. And if I have little bumps around my mouth, that doesn't look really good. And I'm sure my husband is looking like, what is, what are those? So in watching YouTube, um, you know, just trying to find what other people use for that. I tried serums, balms over the counter and then I saw a lady where her pictures that she was showing looked very similar to the eczema that I had around my mouth and the prescription that she was using wasn't available in Jamaica it was available in or it is available in um, Britain I have a cousin there and I said to my cousin hey could you somehow try and get me a couple tubes of this Rosex stuff and let me try it and it actually works. It works really, really well. I got two tubes and it's made, this is actually made for rosacea. So I gave one to my friend who has rosacea and she loves it. Um, so any, uh, what are you calling? The people that bring in prescriptions, I would say try bring Rosex in because not only is it great for rosacea as my friend is saying, but it's a really good option for eczema um, around the mouth because this the eczema around the mouth is so hard to treat. And I'm sorry, like, Sometimes he puts steroids on it and then it flares up even worse. So I started again using this. Um, so I started yesterday because I noticed my, fa my face is looking a mess right now. Then I have some Retin-A. This is um, prescription as well. So I did get this from my dermatologist. I have... Um, so this is great. Retin-A is great for hyperpigmentation. It's great for wrinkles and it's great for um, sebum production as well. And if you have any like little things on your face you want to clear up, Retin-A is great for that. So you can just do like a couple of weeks with Retin-A and I don't mix the two. So I'll put this around my mouth and then I'll put this on my cheeks. I have a problem with rubbing. Like I love creams, like my nightly routine. I have something for up hair, I have something for on the eyes, I have something for under the eyes, I have something for the cheekbones, I have something for the mouth, I have something for the lips, I have something for the neck, I have something for the breasts, I have something for my belly. I have, so I have a different cream for everything. And you know what? I don't apologize for it. That's my me time. That, that's my me time. That's this your money. And I like my skincare routine and I do know that there's a lot of things in my skincare routine and I'm not routine and I'm not using all of these all at once but I kind of just wanted to show you guys because essentially I'm asking for help like how do I minimize this what products do I have here that you think are flaring up my face um, what do you think I could cut out what have you used for your perioral dermatitis that's worked for you um, I sometimes think too that people of color like have such a difficult time with eczema and with hyperpigmentation and it's just it's so hard for us to find what works it's so hard for us to find skincare that is meant for our tones and our skin and maybe I have something here that's wrong so for my girls who are you know women of color help me out let me know what I'm doing wrong because I definitely know that within the past two or three weeks I have been doing something wrong because my eczema is back and I have a little flare up and I know everybody speaks so highly about niacinamide so what what so anyway anyway so let's go into okay so I used to use this as my serum this is called melantranthrax literally like this is this this is some this is some this is some shit right here. Um, so I was so this has Tranimax acid three percent, enzyme mac acid complex five percent, tri control complex two percent, and niacinamide five percent. I like using a serum, and um, one of the beauty people I follow on Instagram, she had said that for melasma. 
um, and hyperpigmentation this was actually really great and I think the problem with this is that this is fake so sometimes when you're buying products online or buying through Amazon and I want to thank so someone so much because I saw where you commented how I must be very careful how I buy my skincare products on Amazon so what I started to do I started to look like if I want to buy from good Molly why I pick up this in the camp molecules mo molecules good mole I was saying it just fine last night so if I want to buy youth if I want to buy youth products I will go to the youth store on Amazon um, and then instead of being lazy I'll go over to the websites and get the products there like I did go over to the good mole I said this thing again molecules website to get these things um, but this Meso Meso Manix, Meso, this something here, this brand, I wasn't, I think it's from Europe and I wasn't able to buy from their website, they wouldn't allow me. Um, and I found somewhere like in Spain that did. And to tell you the honest truth, I don't think this is like, I don't think this is a real product because for all of the great things that this beauty guru Instagrammer was saying I didn't really see much results so I don't use this anymore what's another thing oh she did recommend this as well um this is Sparrow now this is really great for for um what you call it melasma it stinks so I have seen a couple um, YouTube doctors or doctors on YouTube they've also recommended this so for 15 minutes you put this on your face whether you face it don't wash your face so whether you have on makeup or not just put this on your face for 15 minutes and you're supposed to use it like I think for two weeks in a row do not wash your skin before application um, how often do you use this once per day for 16 weeks I don't have time okay when it comes to skincare I do have the time but I don't have time every night for 15 minutes to leave this on my face for 16 weeks so I've been using it like sporadically so I haven't gotten the results from it that people say or the, the, the YouTube doctors say that you would get so Cispera this stuff is apparently really good and um, this is not the bootleg one I got this I got this from um, a website that's my stomach rumbling this melasma thing and hyperpigmentation thing, you know, it's really, it's really annoying. And for all the things that you can get, and for all the dermatologists in Jamaica, and for all of it, every spa have one little something. You can micro needle, you can do this, you can do that. How come no one has brought in that laser? There's a CO2 laser, there's a Fraxel laser, there's um, all kind of lasers that I see where, you know, in the States, you can go and get like a laser treatment and it breaks down all of the hyperpigmentation. I don't want to do any of the little facials for hyper. I just want, I just, I just want to, somebody bring in a laser, please. So sick and tired of spending money on all this crap. That doesn't work. Anyway, back to my serums. Sometimes I'll use this. Now this is great for your skins, but oh, this is where you get to use a YouTube hand where you have this camera. Kate Somerville. Um, Sometimes when I've like OD'd on acids or I've kind of like wrecked my skin, I try to go in with a serum that is really um, beneficial to my skin barrier, helps to repair it. And Kate Somerville, this was recommended by, I believe, James Welsh. Um, and he said this is great, but I find that this one is even better. This is a great barrier relief. And this is this stuff is awesome. It's just a, just a um, what do you call it? A, lotion cream a cream um, this is actually my second jar second bottle I really like this stuff just a nice moisturizer um, I was gifted this this is premium sea moss face mask so sometimes if I'm just doing my um, moisturizing treatments because I'm not putting any syrup well yeah I'll put a little serum but I'm using like a face mask I'll just squeeze this on and this is comes out really jelly and I keep it in my cosmetic fridge so it's nice and cool and I'll use my jade roller and just do like a little mini massage my husband used to wonder what I do in the bathroom for so long I don't know if he thought I was like pooping but he walks in on me all the time and I'm like oh la 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 mm -hmm. and carrying on carrying on and he's just like 
takes a bar of soap, washes his hands, washes his face, and walks out. And I'm like, you need a toner, you need a serum, you need a hydrating mask. And I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. That's how many things have I put? Okay, Hiram, if you're watching, I don't use all of these at the same time. And then because I put so much things on my face, sometimes my skin starts falling off, so I need to exfoliate off the dead skin cells. So I was told that it's better to use a chemical exfoliant, which a chemical exfoliant is all of the little acids you put on your face, like this, the, the Malamine Max, or the Cispero. So sometimes you'll get like little dry skin, um, and those are, those are chemical exfoliants. Physical exfoliant is when you take the little gritty something and you exfoliate. So this is a physical exfoliant that I was told to use. It has, what do you call it? Rice, rice grain, rice powder. And a rice powder. You want to use something with really small molecules. Really scop, small pieces. I was saying that word so fine yesterday. Molecules, molecules. So you want to use something, is it a molecule? Is molecule more for water? You want to use something with a really small grain. So those apricot scrubs, those walnut scrubs are a no-no. Um, sugar scrubs for your face, coffee scrub for your face, it's a no-no. You want to use something with very, very small, small grains. So I think this is, what I'm calling it? Rice powder, rice something. Another great exfoliator, I just got this a couple weeks ago. This is Sonia Dakar and it's a gel. So you just put the gel on your face, you wait two minutes and then you rub and then it rubs off all these little balls of grit. And I just I like that. I like that a lot. Oh wait, I'm missing a little something over here. So this is Drunken Elephant. Um, when I went to my dermatologist out here, she had said, you know, for a great moisturizer, you can use Drunken Elephant. So I ordered this. Um, so sometimes, I, I actually, I don't love it. It was a little bit expensive, this stuff, the Great Barrier Relief. To me is much better and it's cheaper so in the nights so i'll just put this on my neck i'm trying to finish this and i won't buy it back but it's actually i'm not gonna say i won't buy it back but yes yeah, so i'll use this on my neck i'm just trying to finish it so that is mostly now for the face what i will do now is i'll go in with products 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 i'm trying to finish a lot of the things here and i'm actually going to throw out some like my bootleg my bootleg serum anyway so there's such a thing called chicken skin and that's <laughs> chicken skin or keratosis pilaris keratosis pilaris is those little fine bumps they're usually a little bit darker and they're raised and if you squeeze them you'll get like a small little white thing out of them yeah apparently not supposed to squeeze them I squeeze mine I get them on the back of my hands right here um and it feels horrible. It feels like little grits of cornmeal. So what I do for that is I will go in with, follow this. You know, if I follow you on Instagram and you're selling something, I'm gonna buy it most of the times. Because I like, to, I like to support the people that I follow. And if I follow you, I follow you because I like seeing your content. Um, and I just want to support, you know? So I understand that I don't have, I only have maybe one local thing here but I do support local. I'm Jamaican, I do support local. Um, but I do support my other in, um, people that I follow on Instagram. And one of the people that I follow is Dr. Sandra Lee, AKA the Pimple Papa. She's put me to bed many a nights. And um, when I looked on her website, she has something for keratosis pilaris, which is a glycolic acid body scrub. Now, what I will also do with this body scrub, and I don't, this can't scrub my body because I'll go through this in two scrubs. So I just scrub the back of my arms, right? I'll scrub my butt, like if it's bikini season, I use this on my butt, and also on the bikini line. Just because the glycolic acid is excellent exfoliation, and it's just, it just, it will help to clear up any bumps. So not only sebum production, but whiteheads, blackheads, um, yeah, you want to make sure when you put on your thong that people are like, oh my god, she has a big white head on her bottom. That's all to pop it. <laughs> There's something tickling me. Anyway, so this is great. So you can just scrub your keratosis pilaris or scrub your butt. Scrub your butt so you can wear that thong. Th 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 th. My bottom is very big. So I want to make sure that it's big, round, shiny, nice, and smooth. 
this year's smooth bottom. Smooth bottom. Yeah. All right. Then after I scrub my areas, um, I'll go in with a glycolic acid body lotion, and by the same Dr. Sandra Lee. Now, to be 100% honest with you, this is great, but when it finishes, I'm not gonna buy it back. Um, so I'll just go in um, on my bottom with this, just because it's a large surface area and I'm trying to finish this. Or I'll go in again um, for the keratosis pilaris, and these two have really, really helped with the keratosis pilaris. Um, I, yeah, I don't really, I think I, I don't think I have to buy this back. I think if I just go in with this scrub, it will be fine. That's a lot. That's a lot of shit that I buy that I don't... No, I need it. I don't need you. What would... I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. All right, so... <clears throat> oh. I don't need you. Don't need you. Girl, you are downsizing. Okay. When I finish the holy frog, okay, to make an honest um not assumption thing on the holy frog. Oh my god, I just said that with an accent. I will wait until later till I actually wash my face using the little brush hair and see how it froths up. If I don't like it, I will definitely go back to buying my Vivant skincare. Alright, so let us downsize. This is Sparrow, I'm not gonna use again. I actually think I'm gonna go and get another depigmentation facial, so I don't need this Sparrow. So, yeah, I'm a basic girl here. Just wash my face. Where are the rest of my things? Oh yeah, 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 I have to buy, I have to buy more. <laughs> okay guys, all right, all right, all right. That's, that's enough, that's enough. That's honestly, that's enough. Like honestly, this is why my, my face is breaking out because I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty things that I use on my face. That's why my skin is breaking out. So if that's what you've said in the comments, thank you. I need to like, you know, simplify. Because this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Jeez, I'm of his mercy. This is how people make money. I gotta come up with a beauty line. I gotta come up with a beauty line. This is why this is why people are rich. They make things and they're like, bye. And I'm like, okay, sold. <laughs> Oops. I would buy this back. Dear Lord, help me. Alright, guys. That's it. Thank you for playing doctor with me and you know going through my products if you have any questions I can't believe I don't want to write all this shit out in the description box man okay you write to me in the comments what I should keep or what I should use boy this is a lot eh I'm just gonna I'm buying that back anyway guys thank you so much for joining me on my little skincare journey here um, I'm gonna I'm, I'm really gonna try and find I'm gonna simplify my routine and I'm gonna find what works for me because right now the niacinamide is not working and I'm so sorry because I know so many people like swear by it but it's not doing anything for me mm. talk about this dress doing something for me Happy Valentine's Day all right guys thank you so much for joining me let me know in the comments what you think. Make sure you like the video. And of course, make sure you subscribe because so many people who view this video are not subscribed. So please use this right now as a reminder to click that subscribe button. Thanks guys, I appreciate you and I love you. Bye.